on our way to do a retake on a trail called Jake. Because last time we were there, we had camera malfunctions. All of our footage was in hyperlapse, which we had to convert to a silent movie. And anytime you travel with my wife, you can plan on unexpected stops. This time, wild raspberries. She can spot them from a mile away, and if they're ripe, we have to stop. But hey, who can blame her? Say hi, baby. So the last time we were here, we were plagued with camera malfunctions. And we wanted a little redemption. And between then and now, we had found out that uh, if you're going to a Jeep Jamboree or uh, pretty much any of the sponsored events, they have restrictions on being able to go on a trail called Jake. Uh, namely, if you don't have lockers, you don't qualify. And we took that as a challenge. We had been to the end of Jake before and had elected at that time not to try it. We had slick conditions on the trail. There were other people there who had lockers who were trying it, struggling pretty hard. So on that day, we took the chicken exit. But today, we hadn't had rain for two days. Yes, our neighbor had put his boat away. And it looked favorable. So we thought we'd make the trek and give it a shot. Now, if you've never been on Jake, it's an established level six, level seven trail. And like many of the trails in South Dakota, which are either in a seasonal creek or a watershed, you'll find that it's rocky. And it has steep walls with only one midpoint exit. So if you're new at this, I would strongly suggest that you park by the entrance and walk the trail, at least to the first exit, and decide whether or not you're up for the challenge. Because once you're in, there's really no place to turn around. Now the last time we were on Jake was back in May. And I know this because it was the first weekend day we'd had this year that it didn't rain. It was sunny, about 75 degrees, and it was the first day we were ever able to take the top off of the Jeep. And the trail was good but there was still that underlying wet soil, clay, mud. At times the trail was clear and the tires were good, traction was good. And part of the time the tires were packed with mud. 
I like running slicks. But all in all, it was a great day and a great experience. So if you'd watched any of our videos prior to the silent movie Jake, you'd notice a common theme. Everything was in the mud or in the snow because that's what we had. We had rain, we had snow, we had rain, we had snow. So we were really digging this. Low 70s, sunshine, relatively dry, but there was still those underlying spots where the ground was still just dry on the surface, but wet underneath. So sometimes it wasn't the best for traction, but we carried on anyway. If you'll notice the camera angles, a lot of the time, Rhea is actually taking video looking almost straight down on the Jeep. Like I said, the walls are steep. And if weather is threatening, I don't suggest it. Because if we happen to get a really bad toad strangling rain, Jake is prone to flash flooding. And I don't think I'd want to be caught in it. Need to bump it or go up a little bit high. And on this day, we had a pack of side-by-sides that were following us up the trail. And we could hear them getting closer and closer. And looking at the conditions and having scouted ahead and looked at the exit, we did opt for the chicken exit. which as you'll see, wasn't really mud, but it wasn't dry. So we opted to duck out and let the side-by-side -side guys have a crack at it and see how they fared. Turned out, this was the correct decision. Side by side guys, while they made it through, they struggled. And they had lockers. And we didn't. So, we opted to choose which hill we wanted to die. And decided to retreat and return to fight another day. And it's another day. And we're back.
Enough set up. Let's do this. good tire placement and spotting you can make it through Jake without lockers and thanks for watching and always remember Jeep just explore every possibility thank you for watching